Hello friends and fellow teachers, this is Brent, the EdTech Principal at EdTech.TV. Today we're going to take a quick look at simple screencasting with Jing. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your browser, uh, this could be Mac or PC, and you're going to go look for Jing, that's J-I-N-G, uh, from TechSmith. So we're going to go right here and open up their website. And you're going to go click on their free download, this is a totally free application pretty amazing actually and just click on the free download now as soon as you're ready you're gonna open it right up make sure that you read all of this word by word and hit agree Now Jing will let you have the opportunity to auto install or drag it into your applications. Um, you can do whichever one you like. I prefer doing it manually, but that's up to you. And now I can go find Jing in my list of applications. Here it is. Yes, I want to open it. Now Jing is really easy to use. Uh, you can watch the videos on how to do it. Um, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do right here. So all you do is you click on get started, create an account. And here we have it. So, now what you're going to see in the top right corner is that I have this little sun right here. And that is Jing running and ready to go. So when I click on it, I have these different options. I can either uh, do a direct choice uh, capture of the screen that I want to get, or I can have a couple of different options here as well. But for our case, we're going to go real easy and we're just going to pick on the simple screenshot choice. Now I can go directly to where I want to go, and let's say I want a screencast of this uh, website. I don't even have to choose exactly where I want to, I can just ch click on the whole thing. And then you can see down here at the bottom, it gives me these different options. I can either capture an image, that's if I want to make a, a screenshot, and email an image of this page directly to someone. Um, I can capture a video, that's what we're talking about today, where I can t walk someone through a video course. Um, I can also redo my selection, and I can cancel, of course. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this because I want to show you something a little bit more education appropriate on how to use it. As teachers, we may want to put together simple presentations for our students in something like PowerPoint or Keynote, and Jing is a really great way to do that. So let's say you put together this simple PowerPoint, and I've got this one called Three Things You Didn't Know About Einstein. Now we're going to go into Jing, and I am not going to pick the whole screen because as you can see, wrapping around the corners, you can see all of my keynote here and I just want the actual slide area so I'm gonna choose exactly what parts I want to highlight here right around the slide itself and now I've got the same choices that I had before capture an image capture a video redo and cancel here I'll click on capture a video and it'll give me the choice I've got my microphone already plugged in it's ready to go and now it's gonna record just like this. So here you can hear me recording. Up here you can see that I have the choice to speak for up to five minutes. Um, I can finish, I can pause, mute, restart, and cancel just like with everything else. Now remember that Jing is only recording right here where I can see it. So as I move my mouse right around this part, you can see my mouse, but if I just kept it off to the side and clicked through the slides, I might easily be able to show you each part of it. So I can say, you know, three facts about old Al. One, Einstein never failed math, despite the rumors. Uh, you know, sometimes there's this false rumor that goes around that, you know, Albert Einstein failed math, which isn't true. 
Uh, number two, Einstein was a ladies' man, uh, very popular with the women, and uh, sometimes not to his advantage. Um, and then three, the best one, of course, is that Einstein's brain was stolen, pickled, and kept in mason jars. Um, totally true, and lots more weird than just that part of the story. Um, so you might show something like that, and then you'll continue along. You'll say, what else can you find out about Einstein? And I might give a challenge to my students. Find two more unusual facts and let me know about them at www.edtech.tv. Now, my recording has only gone on for 1 minute and 20 seconds. 5 minutes is a pretty good amount of time for you just to get the core message across. So you can take that and you can choose to finish it however you want. We're going to say actual finish. And now check this out. I've got a preview right here. see that I have the choice to speak for up to five minutes. Um, I can finish, I can pause, mute, restart, and cancel just like with everything else. Okay, uh, so you can see how well Jing works. Now I have instant options to share via Jing, Jing's website which is screencast.com. Um, I would probably choose to save it. I would download right here, right onto my computer, and of course you can delete it. Um, if you choose to save it, I can save it as whatever I want, Einstein, um, and I'm going to save it to my uh, desktop. And then it creates a path for it right there. It's all ready to go. I say OK. And here we go. I have the file right there. So that's a quick and easy way to make simple screencasts. Uh, I hope you'd like that and take a look at it. Really explore with Jing. It's free. There's no reason not to go look at it. You can see and think about all the possibilities that you can do in your classroom. If you're interested in possibly flipping your classroom, Jing might be a great way to get started with that. Uh, if you find this useful, please like the video as always. Um, right here as it says, let me know. If you do know more about Einstein, let me know at www.edtech.tv. Of course, you can always follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and everywhere you like to be. Thanks you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Take care.